growth of salmon farming in British Columbia has led to growing concern that there's a spillover of pathogens between farm salmon and wild salmon. Piscine orthoreovirus, or PRV, is a virus which was first discovered in Norway in 2010 and it was associated with fish which had heart disease. And viruses leave a genetic fingerprint, so we can study the viral genome sequences of the viruses to try and work out how viruses have moved around the world. And our study found that there are actually two introductions of PRV from the North Atlantic to the Northeast Pacific, and these were associated with movements of salmon for aquaculture. When we looked on Atlantic salmon farms in BC, we found that eventually all the fish on a farm become infected with PRV. We found that wild fish caught closer to farms were more likely to be infected, and fish that were collected further away from farms were less likely to be infected. This suggests that the virus is being transmitted from the farms to the wild fish. So a big question is, does the virus cause disease? And recent research shows that all the different types of PRV that were tested led to heart disease, and that included the type of PRV which is found in British Columbia. So despite the overwhelming evidence that this virus is not native and it was introduced to BC and it's transmitted from farms to wild fish and it's associated with disease in wild fish, government regulators don't classify PRV as a disease agent. And that means viruses can legally be put into the marine environment whether they're then transmitted to wild fish. My name is Andrew Bateman. I'm the Salmon Health Manager for Pacific Salmon Foundation. And so I basically just work as a biologist on the salmon health file for PSF. The way to avoid the risk posed by PRV or, or really any virus or infectious agent from uh, salmon farms is to transition away from open net aquaculture, open net salmon farming. And this is the position of, of PSF, the stated policy position. Uh, it's also the opinion of many in British Columbia, and and really that that would protect wild salmon, whether we're talking about PRV or or other bacteria or viruses or sea louse parasites. And this is no longer just the position of PSF or of the NGO community in BC. This is the stated policy position of the federal government to transition away from open net salmon farming by 2025.